Joe Perini has an ankle injury and Paul Gascoigne is on England duty. Stanley Stensas and George Alberts deputise. Well, much of the burden for Aberdeen goals falls on striker Billy Dodge today. He scored six so far, but the Dons have managed just 12 in 12 league games. Brian Loudrop always requires special marking from defenders, and Aberdeen know that more than most. The Danish international star has scored in each of the last five games against the Pretodri club. The referee is Hugh Dallas from Motherwell, who handled the 3-3 draw between the clubs at Ibrox in September. Well, Rangers have lost just one of the last nine domestic matches, the 2-1 defeat against Dundee United at Tannadice. The Dons have lost five of their last seven games in the Premier Division. They've much to do here this afternoon. In fact, they just one home win this season in six matches to date. A 2-0 win over Hibs last month. So an early touch there for George Alberts. Across now for McCall. Good ball through, but uh, just too much in the end for Alec Cleland. Always a player who likes to get forward. Anderson. Rangers are getting plenty of cover back. Well, a mistake there between Goff and Gattuso, and Dodge almost get in. Here's Anderson. Still the opportunity's on. It's Ian Jess, but he's blocked by Gattuso. This is Miller, and uh, that's Rangers' ball. But a real mix up there between uh, Goff and Gattuso going for the same ball, and it broke for Ian Jess. He's allowing some treatment here. This is Tan. Loudrup. Stensis. Alberts is just ahead of him. Alberts! Well, on the favoured left foot, but uh, he dragged it wide of target. Real warning here though for Aberdeen. Stensis neatly clipping it through. Onto that left foot, uh, which seldom lets him down. Way by Goff, only as far as Kiriakov. This is Ian Jess. And well handled by Andy Gorham. Shot going in from Rousen. Right along the surface, well handled by the keeper. Well, that's a bad one by Kavwari. Negri's there, and Leighton saves the day. Well, Kambwari put Aberdeen in all kinds of trouble there. He seemed no problem at this point. He played it right into the path of Negri. And Jim Leighton used his experience, didn't commit himself, and made the save. Through for Loudrop. Breaks for him now. Stensis has a lot of space here. Still at Stensis. Good saving challenge from Russell Anderson. Well, a huge gap opened up there for Stanley Stensis. Loudrop knew he was there. Just rolled it through. He took a touch on it. And uh, good defending there for, from Russell Anderson. Cleland. Loudrup. Stensis is ahead of him. Good play by Stensis. That's a good ball. Just beyond Negri. And uh, well taken by Jim Layton. Here's an opportunity on now though. Negri's through. And missed from just about seven yards out. The ball breaking through there for Marco Negri. It looks certain he would score. And he knows there. Should have done better. He pushed it just wide up target. Now it's uh, Miller for Aberdeen. Rouse's touch lets him down though. It's a very busy midfield out there. This is Alberts. Stensas breaking again on the left. Negri's in the middle. Way beyond Leighton, headed clear by Kiriakov. Alberts, and the free kick is awarded. 
He kicked to Rangers just outside the penalty area. George Alberts fouled there by Joe Miller. Alberts has recovered. It's indirect. That's a good effort, and that's a marvellous save by Jim Layton. Well, the indirect free kick uh, played short there to Alberts, who struck it with terrific power. But what a save by Jim Layton. The ball deflected as well. And that's an international class save from the Scotland goalkeeper. He can be well pleased with that one. Still the pressure's on, it's Goff's header! Leighton missed it there. And it was Joe Miller who got it away. Still the Tringers coming forward and uh, Anderson does just enough there against Loudrop. Well, Jim Leighton having made a great save could do nothing just a moment ago, but as the ball went right across him, Joe Miller was there, Richard Goff's head up, and Joe Miller saved the day. Written by McCall, it's loud up again, Kiriakov's with him. Uh, Colin tried the early ball, he has to settle for the throw-in. Loud up in a very tight situation and he wins the corner kick. He always seems to get something out of it, Loud up. Again, uh, Richard Goff is uh, well forward. There's Goff! It's deflected! Well, Joe Miller again clears off the line from Stensas. leading a charmed existence in this first half partly thanks to Jim Layton and uh, certainly to Joe Miller That's twice he's popped up on that uh, post getting it away from Richard Goff and then away from Stensis and it's Miller again pushing forward now it's challenged by McCall Stensis, this is Negri. Uh, Kabwari's there, and he just uh, lost his bearings for a moment there, Negri. In comes Gattuso now. It's Loudra. Stensis is in space again. That's deflected and right into the hands of Jim Layton. Well, Aberdeen will have to close down the space for Stensis. He's getting a lot of freedom this side of the field and uh, this ball was deflected right into the hands of Jim Layton so played through by McCall this is Loudra final minutes of the first half ticking away Rangers will feel they should have something up this uh, opening 45 minutes this is Negri down he goes just inside the area no penalty says the referee who was very well placed Negri pleads his case Meanwhile, uh, Kambwari is on the deck, injured. Negri moved forward here. He was certainly caught, probably just outside the area. But uh, the referee decided to award nothing at all. It's uh, Kiriakov. He's really looking for Stephen Glass. And uh, what out of there by Andy Gorham. Well, the Aberdeen fans claiming that uh, had gone behind, but... Uh, Certainly got him looked uh, reasonably comfortable here. We're now into stoppage time. Kiriakov. Uh, halted by Gattuso. Uh, who offers a handshake. Please uh, having a word with the Italian. Uh, it's the Bulgarian. By the Swede Bjorklund. It's Jess! What an incredible goal! Ian Jess for Aberdeen, well into stoppage time. Well, Rangers have been absolutely mucked here, having dominated most of this first half. A quite stunning strike by Ian Jess. No chance at all for Andy Gorham, right into the top corner. Aberdeen won Rangers nil. Can you believe it? Well, 
the Dons fans can. It's a terrific strike. It was Rosen who knocked it down. Just control that. And with the right foot, high beyond Andy Gorham. Fantastic goal. Right on half time. Rangers must wonder what has happened. It's a free kick now to Rangers. Perhaps the drama of this first half isn't over yet. Certainly, the Aberdeen fans lifted by that goal. They've played two minutes of stoppage time. An opportunity here for Rangers, though. The way to the far side, McCall's there, but Aberdeen cleared the lines. The whistle sounds. Well, what a first half. Dominated by Rangers, but finished by Ian Jess. A fabulous goal. And Jim Layton there, another hero for uh, Aberdeen, with an outstanding save from Alberts. At Pataudry, it's Aberdeen 1, Rangers 0. So where we go for the second half, Aberdeen have uh, made a change. Uh, Zanko's Vetanov uh, has come on and taken over the left-back position. Uh, Kiriakov has been over to the right-hand side and Joe Miller is the player who has left the field uh, after his tireless first half. And an early touch now for the substitute. Difficult to believe uh, watching Aberdeen this afternoon that uh, since the second week of the season, the league season, you know, they've been occupied uh, one of the two bottom places. Well, there's a bad mistake. And the uh, Rangers get away with it. Alec Cleland uh, running into trouble in these early stages of the second half. Seems to be no problem at all there. And uh, he almost gifted it uh, to Billy Dodds. Fortunately, Richard Goff was there. <laughs> Stephen Glass there, just in the head of Alec Cleland. Well, I don't think there's any doubt uh, in that first half that the uh, well, Rangers dominated. They certainly missed uh, the influence of Paul Gascoigne there. Aberdeen uh, on the backfield for much of the half, retreating from midfield. But uh, McCall there this afternoon playing in the back three. It better be employed in a more positive role. Rangers going in the second half. Call again. Loudrop. Way to the far side. And it's equaliser from Alberts. With 49 minutes played. And Rangers are back in this game. Well, Marco Negri seemed to be impeded as he went for the ball. But uh, there was certainly no mistake from George Alberts. Who gets his fifth goal of the season. And that could be an important one. An excellent ball from Loudrop. Uh, the goalkeeper in trouble here. The downward header. And that was it, Aberdeen won, Rangers won. Excellent cross there from Loudrop. Svetanov couldn't get to him in time. Jim Layton was uh, really caught out there. And as Negri went down, well, Alberts was there on the far side to finish it off. One goal up easier at Pataudry. And no more than Rangers deserve. Svetanov. Now it's Ian Jess. There for Rousen, it's Jess again. That's an excellent save by Andy Gorham. They had to gather that one uh, with Dodge coming in. It wasn't an easy ball. Jess had played it through to Rousen, and then uh, it was laid off by Glass to Jess. Difficult one for the goalkeeper, but he managed to smother it. This is Vetanov. In comes Ian Jess. Still it's Jess. Dodge is in there. Great save though by Andy Gorham from point blank range. And just tried to break forward. It's returned by Zvetanov. Dodge is there again. And it's Jess who sends it over. Well, that was a real opportunity for Aberdeen. Andy Gorham brought off a superb save here. It was good play by Ian Jess. And then... Uh, it broke there for Dodge and from point blank range. Gorham blocked it. Looking for Negri. Second worries there. Touch from Anil. It's given straight to Gattuso though. Challenge from Svetanov. It's uh, through now for Negri from Loudrop. The early shot from him. An excellent goalkeeping again from Jim Layton. Well, both goalkeepers excelling this afternoon. Good early ball there from Loudrop through to Negri. The early shot from him. Good handling by Layton. 
It's a high one played into off Dodge. So it's easily taken by Richard Goff. This is Turner. Solid clearance from Andy Gorham. Left by Bjortland. That's a good effort from Dodge. Excellent effort from Billy Dodge. And pushed away by Andy Gorham. He certainly hit this with plenty of power. And the goalkeeper was happy to knock that one away. So one one played through now for uh, Alberts. He sends it through, there's great pace here from Lathrop, the goalkeeper's off his line and he's made a great save. Well, Jim Lathan decided to come rushing from his line there. And that's a superb save, great pace by Lathrop, getting away from the defenders and the goalkeeper had narrowed the angle. Made a good save. That's the call for Rangers. Gattuso. Turn. Stances and uh, Gattuso caught there by Glass. He's got Dodge to his right. He's just waiting for some extra support. Jess is through the middle now. This is Dodge running at Bjorkland. That's deflected and a fine save again by Andy Gorham. Well, Gorham's been busier in this second half, but uh, Dodge certainly gave Bjorkland problems here running at him and then unleashing the shots. And deflected again, that's a second deflection that uh, Andy Gorham's had to deal with in the second half. Well, he lost a bad goal, uh, just right about that spot last season. But, uh, he certainly has made two excellent saves in this second half. And, uh, he looks quite calm under pressure. Jury, McCall, Tuzo, it's a slack ball by Stephen Glass, they could pay for this, it's Negri, it breaks out for McCall, that was Kambari who made a good challenge, claims her handball there, well the referee was right alongside Russell Anderson, the referee shakes his head, Rangers fans leaping to their feet there, claiming a penalty kick against the uh, Russell Anderson, but uh, the referee was right beside him. McCall lofted it in here, and it certainly seemed to be an arm raise. Well, Hugh Dallas was within a few feet of the Aberdeen player. He's over speaking now to his assistant, and he's going to take some uh, action here. Speaking to uh, McCall, who's obviously complained. Certainly, an arm appeared to come up as McCall played that ball in. Well, that certainly looks like a penalty kick. There seemed a definite intent there by Russell Anderson. And uh, Stuart McCall finds himself booked. Is Anderson playing it through. Played off by Dodds. And the referee awards the free kick. Well, the new ruling allowed the referee to have a think about that one. Seemed advantage at first, and there wasn't. Uh, he awarded a free kick. It's Aberdeen pushing forward. It's Ian Jess. Another good save by Gorham. And that one's behind. Well, the substitute coming so close. Ricky Gillis denied by Andy Gorham. And then the follow up shot going just wide of target. What an opportunity. Uh, certainly, the Aberdeen fans. Cheering the team, just seconds remaining, here's Negri now, still it's Negri, holding off the challenge of Kambari, Kambari's in all kinds of trouble here, and gets it away to Zvetanov, a touch now by Rousen, that was a real let-off for Aberdeen.
Green. Kamwari was struggling all the way there against Negri, but the break turned at the other end now. And it's Bjorklund to the rescue. Uh, just as well for Rangers. Dodge was in the middle, screaming for that one. Just seconds remaining now, plus any stoppage time to be added by the referee. Anderson leaves it. Dodge is in the middle. Gorham comes for that one, just gets the touch. It's absolutely frantic now, but there's a chance for Rangers to break. We're into stoppage time here at Pitodre. It's jury for Rangers. McCoy's up there, so too is Negri. Smith gets the touch. It's played through by Tan. Looking for Jury. Challenges in from Kambwari. Well, it really has been anyone's game in the last few minutes. Chances at both ends. Jury holds off the challenge. Trellins in support. This is McCall, Goff's up there in the far side, Kambwari gets the touch though. Still Rangers press through Stansas. Again the referee checks his watch. A touch from Negri, Jury! And Leighton once again saves Aberdeen. Good effort this from Gordon Jury, who scored a fine goal in France the other evening. Terrific save. Still the pressure's on, it's Clellan, the goalkeeper's on his line, Aberdeen get it away, the final whistle sounds, an afternoon of tremendous commitment here from both teams, but Jim Leighton very much a hero, and uh, you can see Richard Goff appreciating that, but uh, George Alberts getting Rangers back into the game, just four minutes into the second half, Loudrup get away from Zvetanov, provided the cross, Negri went down, but uh, Alberts was coming in at the far side to finish it off, but also excellent saves from uh, both goalkeepers uh, Gorham with an excellent save from Dodds and uh, Leighton denying Loudrup and then in the final seconds denying Gordon Jury at Petodre it finishes Aberdeen 1, Rangers 1